Lesson 5-9, Special Products. In Lesson 5-8, we talked about multiplying polynomials. Binomial time a, times a binomial, a binomial times a trinomial, two trinomials, and then how to multiply even larger polynomials. In this lesson, we're going to talk about special products, which are um, binomial multiplications that follow a specific pattern. Now, the reason that it's good to learn these special products is because it'll save time. And you don't actually have to do the multiplication. You just learn the pattern. When we get into factoring, it's helpful for factoring. And it's useful for combining and solving. There'll be less work. Okay, now our first special product is called um, perfect squares. And when we multiply or square a binomial, you get what's called a perfect square trinomial. Okay, and this follows a very specific pattern. If I have a binomial, a plus b squared, I square the first, I multiply the first and the second together times 2, and I square the second. The reason this works is because if we were to FOIL this out, and we did our FOIL, so first gives us the a squared, outside gives us ab, inside gives us ab, and then last gives us b squared. ab plus ab is 2ab. And so you can see that we can skip this step and just, once we see that we're squaring, square the first, multiply the first and second together times 2, and then square the second. Now the pattern also follows if you are doing a binomial with subtraction, the only difference is that you have a subtraction here instead of um, addition. So let's try a couple of perfect squares. If I have x plus 3 squared, I'm going to square the x. 3 times x is 3x times 2, and then 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now you can skip this part if you can do the 2 times 3 in your head. You've got that part done without actually having to write it down. Um, if I have 2x minus 5 and I square it. 2x squared, let's just write that. We know from our exponent rules that we distribute that squared to the 2 and to the x. So I'm going to get 4, 2 squared is 4, x squared, minus, because I have a minus, 5 times 2 is 10. So that would be 10x times 2 will give me 20x. And then 5 squared is 25. So again, this is 2x squared, 2 times 2x times 5 and 5 squared. So that's our pattern. 
and it will work with any numbers we want at all. I can use really large numbers. And I don't have to foil this out. I just have to square the 81x. So 81 squared is 65, 61x squared. Let's make that a plus. And then I do 295 times 81 times 2. So 47790x. And then 295 squared, 87025. So even if we use large numbers, this pattern always holds. The other special product we have is when you multiply a sum and a difference. And when that happens, you get what's called a difference of squares. So for example, if I have a plus b times a minus b, that's going to result in a squared minus b squared. And the reason that works is because if I FOIL that out, first gives me a squared, outside gives me minus ab, inside gives me plus ab, and last gives me minus b squared. A negative AB and a positive AB cancels each other out, so I'm left with A squared minus B squared. And this holds true, so anytime you have the same first terms and the same second terms with a plus and a minus, you square the first and square the second and put a minus in between them. So let's do some examples on that. X plus 6 times X minus 6 gives me X squared and then minus, and then 6 squared, which is 36. 5x plus 10 times 5x minus 10. 5x squared is 25x squared. 10 squared is 100. And this saves us having to FOIL everything out. It works also if I have variables in both places. 2x times 2x is 4x squared minus y squared. So those are our special products. And once you've learned the patterns, they will help you in solving future problems that you'll have to deal with. And in the meantime, they'll save you a lot of time.